Once again, I am Ash, the Pale Moon expert of this group, also your Chronicle expert, because see, nobody else plays it. Them's fighting words. Them's on fighting words. All right. Yeah. Uh, so this time we are looking at the Nightmare Dolls. As you may remember, I did do a deck profile of this, but that would be for us. We got the extra 8 yeah. G-Zone, and the deck had changed a bit. I think that that video is something like our fifth most popular or something like that. The, the, the Nightmare Doll versus... I uh, just play so hard on that too. Not yeah. as hard as the other person. <laughs> Not as hard as the other person. That was Chris. What uh, so, the, the Nightmare Doll of the Brand Blue thing? Yeah. So, anyway. we are going to do this time by the format I have been told. So, are we going to start off with a green zero? Um, in the same edition, act, Forerunner, Act Ability, Counter Blast 1, put this unit into the soul, look at the top 5 for grade 3, add it to hand, put the rest, shuffle your deck. Um, until we get the new set, this guy is my main one to go for a starter in, Pam in Nightmare Dolls. Because it is a deck that do demand grade threes more than anything. So, good starter. Activate him, I see you get that counter blast. Next is the one that is starting off, the one as your main van. It noted in Nightmare Doll, Catherine. So, when this unit is placed onto the Vanguard Circle, look up to your deck for any, I believe, it's card. This card, yeah. yeah. And not specific to War Boys. Yeah. For any card, I put it into your soul. However, your main thing you want from her is that her ability to give all Alice on field extra 1k plus give an Alice extra skill. Counter Blast 1. Counter Blast 1. And when an Alice attack does not hit, call out another Alice and put the Alice who did not hit into soul. As you can tell, she gives Alice actually reason to be played. However, you can stack the Alice that have not been the Alice that have been called out onto the old Alice and place the old Alice back into deck, which enable you to do the loop. You want for her, no less. Nightmare Doll Alice, the one that you run at four. Reason why is because one will probably hit your damage zone. One probably will get destroyed in the battle. So it's good to keep two, at least into soul, or just in case something go crazy. Um, Nightmare Doll Alice from BT3 is a counter blast. Put the unit into soul, call out a new unit, but you cannot call out a Nightmare Doll Alice. Unlike Catherine ability, which call out a Nightmare Doll Alice, Alice ability cannot call out herself. However, she could call out a certain grade 2, which you will see later on. On to grade 2. Run one peekaboo. Why he work lights? He worked with Nightmare Doll of the Abyss Beatrix. At the beginning of your main phase, Soul Blast 1, call them out to feel. Hooray, you have an actual walk light pencil. Also, he's very cute and very tiny, and he needs love. He's kind of creepy looking to me, but whatever. To teach the own. Next, I run three of my favorite. 10k vanilla. Silver Sorn, Marinette, Lillian. Why run her and not Jill? Jill is basically like, is good. Uh, when she is placed onto field, she gains extra 3k, making her 12k. However, early on pressure with Lillian is fabulous. Also, Lillian is at 10k, which will make your opponent say, I don't want that on the field because I don't want you to have a warploid and I need to hit and make sure I kill it. She's a good card. Love the art. She looks so sad. It's also for like anti rush, right? Where you gonna ride? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next is three Nightmare Doll Master Brenda. As you can tell, last time I played the card, I misplayed. Uh, point case for time using her. <laughs> so basically, put her into your soul. And you choose up to one of your workplay cards from it and call it to the field. 
Uh, when that card is placed into the field, you are able to call her back, call out Nightmare of Dawn Master Brenda out. However, she did not get her act ability after that part. She got the set up field from Nightmare Doll of the Abyss Beatrix. She had 9k. I will run through her even when all the new stuff comes out. Next is the card I was talking about with Nightmare Doll Alice with Nightmare Doll Jenny. When this unit is placed when this unit put this unit into soul, when this unit is placed on rear guard, put her into soul, call out a Nightmare Doll Alice, get Nightmare Doll Alice 5k extra. She had 9k, the one that you want to write to for your grade 2 turn. She give Alice more power, making her a 16k combined with that a Nightmare Doll Catherine. She good card, run her at 4 because you're gonna need her in the soul or on the field. Next, grade ones. We run three max grade bunny because Nightmare Doll do not have a strike fodder. It's sad. None of the silver thorns do, and it's no, really no, sad. No, no, Fair Moon. Um, uh, it's sad because both Nightmare Dolls and Silver Thorn needed a precise helper when striding. And I felt like they could have gave it to us, but they like, nah, you got too OP as it is, so we're going to restrict your deck a little bit. Even when all the new Nightmare Dolls still come out, she is still going to have to be a part of the deck because you are relying on your Alice's for attack and you cannot just rely on Catherine. I'm oh, sorry, I'm going to probably add a new one because the new one are the cute, but this one is so adorable as well. Out of grade ones is the one that people fail to notice is actually the more dangerous of the Nightmare Doll than Alice. Nightmare Doll Leslie, when this when your card named Nightmare Doll Alice is put into your so front rear, you stand this unit. Why is she more dangerous? Having a roll her with a Nightmare Doll Alice is going to make them stand and just keep on the attack. It had defeated Shadow Paladin. It had defeated so many cards if you could Nightmare yeah, Dog Leslie on uh, your bread and butter. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, Nightmare Doll Clarence. For now, she's good. The actual Nightmare Doll, the actual Rokloy. Her skill, it kind of confusing when you think about it because at the beginning of your guard step when a nightmare doll is being attacked you can put her into the guard circle and if she was placed in the guard circle you can put her back into the soul um actually Lee, if you have a nightmare doll beatrix and you cannot do the alice combo to bring all three of these out have the field be for defense and save your hand she really good and I'm debating whether or not to keep her. So, that's how good she is. The debate is real. Alright, because we don't have the new one yet, and because we don't have a Nightmare Doll Pacific PG, because reasons. <laughs> Harry. Uh, so, Dark Side, Mirror Master, why Counter Blast every deck? Perfect, perfect guard. You are going to protect your Alice with your G guards, to be honest, more so than your perfect guards. Run four of Silver Storm, Marin, and Natasha. Why? Because they take the man's hand and demands you to look up cards in your stack more so than anything. Um, she good. She warp Lloyd. Try to make this more workable place until we get the new stuff. Uh, I like her. It's a silver thorn. Well, enough to like. Next. Why Poison Juggler? Well, Poison Juggler not bad. Gives 3 extra K to Nightmare Doll Alice or 3 extra K to Nightmare Doll Leslie. You go into the Soul. Extra Soul Blast Water for a certain Grace 4. And extra 10k guard and on hit pressure with the Leslie if you hit him. Nightmare doll Mirabel. 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 <laughs> um Nightmare Doll, Rokoloid, same reason as Natasha, however she is a critical which gives you more pressure to have. And the finish off is the heels, which is Nightmare Doll Dory. She's a cute little heel trigger. Run for her. 
Roquelai, Heimer Dobbis, and look at the little goblins. You can't deny the little guys are working hard for her. Oh my god. Notice your card, people. Okay. So, G guards, kind of like Silver Swords. You do run Dismal to protect our Alice's. And. I don't know, there's more always fun to have to say haha to Kagura, Link Joker, and Gear Chronicle, and if I have to say Shadow Paladins. Nitro? Nitro. Nitro, yeah, Nitro. I did it with Nitro, I forgot. Um, Trey Elemental Screw because 10k guard, Paleman do not have a 10k guard. <laughs> but, but I can't wait for the new one because that is going to make me want to switch him now, finally. Run 3! Uh, the chainsaw. Why? To filter the deck, to get those Alice's, to get those Lazily, to get those Jenny, to get those dolls that you need in soul, into soul. And I like his art. I like the whole carnival funeral aspect. Run one uh, Dragon Mask Grave Harry. Yes, I run him off one in every single deck of Pale Moon I own. I think in Nightmare Dolls, he is going to be that surprise. Oh, you can't activate Alice Loop? Screw that. I'm going to activate Harry. Say goodbye to your field. I get to restand stuff. Kind of fun. Madu, same reason. Nightmare Dot Alice until we get the new one in. This guy is still going to be a part of it. And also cute. Uh, I run two Mephistos. Only two. Um, they because he basically not going to be used. <laughs> He's not going to be used. Well, like Jesus fodder or something, or like... yeah, basically, I guess. Something else, I don't know. You can run, you can run dragon, you can run lunatic in this build because lunatic demands you to call stuff out of field, and even if you do Jenny and call out Alice, it. Seem you, can, uh, you can run Lukier for just two soul charge and putting things in the No, uh, yeah, because hers is a two put into and yeah. failed. You don't have to call anything. No, out. you can't. You have to call precisely two soul charge, no, which I kind of do. <laughs> no, Lukier, you can soul charge, but not call anything out. Yeah, because reason, and I don't have to heart. I could, but I feel like Mephiso because of the next card. And this is the next card, why? Right. Millwards. I run, like I said, the poison juggler are so blast fodder. Same with the little instant magician for Millward. Millward, give on hit ability to cards that called out, give four extra cade, add on hit pressure to nine hurdles. Finally, you guys have been waiting for it. I only run three of the nightmare doll of the Abyss Beatrix, right? Because I only go into two. At most. Even then, it only I use one to basically like, do the loop. I made this deck precisely for that loop. The reason why it mostly Rokeloids, and that's why some of my choices are tend towards Rokeloid ways, because of her skill, and it's because I can hit that Leslie Nightmare Doll full combo more often than people should. So this is Nightmare Dolls. I hope you guys had a joyful reunion with them. And unlike other people, my bills are always questionable, but I am pretty much more proud of my bills than any other people built. Next time is Harry. So until then, see you later.